On the afternoon of 18th of August 1966, a small group of Viet Cong soldiers walked into the middle of 11 platoon on the right flank of Delta Company 6 RAR. A dispersed Delta Company of 108 men held its ground with heroism and grim determination against a three-sided attack from a force that now numbered some two and a half thousand enemy. It got to the stage, at one stage, we thought we were going to be able to run for sure. Well, basically, until the art artillery came in, um, they'll get within 50, 75, 100 metres of our position. And the next thing Gordon on the radio said, you know, it's, it's bigger than I thought, you know, it's at least a company size, they're attacking me. And I was, you know, pretty, uh, pretty nervy stuff. And the, the volume of firing, you know, incredible. I got hit again on the way out and, and um, and then while the medic was giving me some attention, he got hit. And uh, I had a backpack on and I was trying to get it off. And it was, you know, uh, whilst I was doing that, a fellow was helping me, he got shot, he was killed. On many occasions, I thought that we were going overrun and I, yes, I prayed. And I think just about everyone else prayed too. By the end of this battle, 18 Australian soldiers had been killed and 21 wounded. The following day during the battlefield clearance, 245 enemy were confirmed as killed. In captured documents found later in the war, the actual count was confirmed at over 800 killed and more than 1,500 wounded. The slight difference to previous deployments is the risk of um, obviously the, the place that he's going to. The news was that that's what was going to happen, you know. <laughs> I just lost it because I really was not expecting it and I, I think it took such a long time to recover after him being in Iraq that I wasn't sort of, I was certainly hoping he wouldn't be going to Afghanistan so soon and it's not the most pleasant thing a mother would like to hear. And I like to tell my children it's about, you know, dad going overseas to help other people who can't help themselves. And it demonstrates to them you know, why dad needs to go away, but why dad's also doing all this training and separation before he goes as well. It really is about putting people that you are responsible for and yourself in harm's way to help other people and to do a job not that you've been ordered to do, but one that morally you know you should do. You can't see something on the news and not wait for that next phone call from him. I mean, it's literally you see something and you're sitting next to your phone until you, he calls. He realises that um, he, he could make a decision one day that could cost people their lives. And I don't know if I can handle that. Um, those boys are gonna look to me and to bring them home in one piece. And I'll do my damnedest to do that, but it's a two-way shooting range. It's not always gonna be my choice or my decision as to uh, what condition everyone comes home in. One, three, one, two, three. It is ironic that the soldiers of Delta Company 6 RAR during their tour of Afghanistan have fought in some of the largest battles since their veteran predecessors took part in the Battle of Long Tan during the Vietnam War. For these young men, it is only during this tour some 45 years later that they have felt they can finally step out of the shadow of the Long Tan veterans and create their own legacy. This is their story.